Transport aircraft, also known as cargo or air mobility, are fixed-wing aircraft delivering personnel and materiel for the Canadian Armed Forces. Their alphanumeric designations begin with a double C. Looking into the transport alcove, the display features models of the C-47 Douglas Dakota, the Fairchild Flying Boxcar, and the Hercules, to name a few. On the back wall, you'll see the North Star, a Beechcraft, and in the middle, the Comet. The Comet was the first passenger aircraft with a jet engine. When the RCAF bought two Comets in the mid-20th century, it became the only Air Force to fly jet transports exclusively. But the Comet's square windows cracked due to turbulence from the jet blast, and the Comet was taken out of service. That's why you'll never see square windows on airliners. On the right wall, you'll see a Hercules and Globemaster III. Moving to the left wall, an Otter and a C-47 Dakota, the military version of the civilian DC-3. First, a civilian passenger airliner in the 1930s, the DC-3, or Dakota, set new levels of performance for commercial aircraft. The war changed the DC-3 to military transport. Chief among the changes? Utilitarian seating on either side of the cabin. Others included Pratt & Whitney radial piston engines in place of Wright Cyclones. The aircraft was noted for its ability to withstand extreme damage and still stay aloft. The CC-138 Hercules is a four-engine, fixed-wing turboprop. It can deal with almost any terrain in the most challenging weather conditions, often transporting troops and equipment for humanitarian aid. The J model is a completely new aircraft, flying faster, higher, and further with heavier loads while burning less fuel. The J model can use shorter landing and takeoff fields, and their climb time is reduced by up to 50%. Only 12 days after entering service, Canada's first CC-177 Globemaster III delivered 30,000 kilograms of emergency supplies to Jamaica after Hurricane Dean. A Globemaster can haul three Griffin helicopters or 100 paratroopers. Its ability to fly long distances and land in remote airfields makes it ideal for military, peacekeeping, and humanitarian missions. See these models, pictures, and much more in the Canadian Air Transport Display at the BC Aviation Museum at YYJ.